They were done somewhere in the Jolo Island cluster. It's run by separatists and militias. The Filipino army won't even go there anymore. Hello guys, today we're going to review the movie Plane starring Gerard Butler. But before that, do hit that like button if you are into this kind of content and subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell for updates when new content comes out. One country that has a misplaced and bloated sense of pride is the Philippines. It pathetically tries to connect itself to any successful person in the international arena. If you are an Olympic gold medalist and your maid is a Filipina, expect the nitwit useless media companies to write stories about that maid, hinting that the success of the athlete is because of the Filipina maid. If you are a Hollywood performer and your great-grandfather is a Filipino, expect stories to be written essentially claiming you as one of their own. And don't forget that ubiquitous line, Pinoy pride, to appear like a pimple in the middle of your nose on prom night. Filipinos don't like to be criticized. Dan Brown and Claire Danes got a taste of Filipino bile when Brown referred to Manila as the gates of hell and Danes was attacked for mentioning the poverty in the country. When Tab Baldwin, an American coach, mentioned the tactical immaturity of Filipino coaches who disgraced the Philippines in international competitions, he was pilloried and threatened with deportation. So, I was not surprised when the movie plane directed by Jean-Francois Richet and starring Gerard Butler got into a controversy with the Philippine government. The movie is about a pilot, Brody, played by Gerard Butler, whose plane was hit by lightning and was forced to land in Hulo, an island in the Philippines, which the government essentially treats as foreign territory since it barely controls the island and lets local warlords treat the island as their kingdom. Brody is forced to use his wits and military training and cooperate with the prisoner on his flight to save his passengers from the local terrorists and flies down plane again to safety. The Philippine government led by its senators protested the portrayal of the Philippines as having an inept administration that is helpless in times of crisis. They said that the movie portrayed the country in a bad light and the movie is going to threaten Philippine tourism. So, the distributor was forced to pull out the movie from Philippine theaters. Now, does the movie deserve to be pulled out? Does the Philippine government have the right to raise its arms in protest? I'll answer that in the end. But first, let us review Plane as a movie. Plane is a passable action thriller, perfect for those moments when there is nothing to watch. It is a by-the-numbers kind of movie in terms of stakes and narrative, but is competent enough to not turn off viewers. Butler is acceptable as a former Royal Air Force personnel and his supporting cast, while mostly not from the A-list, deliver capable performances. I like how the terrorists were portrayed. These are not your run-of-the-mill villains who threaten to do something evil but end up not doing it. Here we see the ruthlessness of these villains in getting their goals. Unfortunately, as full characters, they fall short. They were just on screen to be evil. Butler's main support is Mike Coulter who plays Louis Gaspar, the prisoner, a French legioner who is being extradited to Canada on homicide charges. He delivers a quietly intense performance that complements Butler's. The rest of the cast are given stock characterizations and are not really memorable. The action is above average in execution with Butler being able to exude physicality believably. While the choreography doesn't reach John Wick levels of brilliance, it is still above the usual shaky cam quick edit trash being produced in Hollywood. Watch out for that sniper sequence featuring a gun which is essentially a video game weapon in terms of impact and effect. I really enjoyed that sniper sequence. The special effects show their low budget but nothing that cannot be forgiven. The plot is simple and nothing really memorable but the film does its job just right and gives us entertainment and fun for around 2 hours. Now going back to the question whether the movie deserves to be pulled out from Philippine cinemas because of the unfavorable stereotyping that its government is getting, well, the thing with stereotypes is that there's always a grain of truth in them, otherwise they won't become stereotypes. 
It is a work of fiction and doesn't deserve to be censored and pulled from cinemas. My stand has always been to each his own when it comes to making movies. When it comes to the writers of playing, that is their story. It is theirs to tell and my only concern as a critic is whether it was done well. Perhaps the Philippine government should try making movies too that will show its side. But fat chance of that happening as the Philippine government doesn't really support its arts community, and it is just content with taxing things. In conclusion, Plain is not going to be movie of the year candidate, but it can be a movie of the day when there is nothing else playing and we need something fun to watch. So that's the review of the movie Plain, starring Gerard Butler. This has been Kulas for Tambe Reviews. Thank you for watching. Keep on playing.